again. Check. Welcome to Israel. Mishmar Kabot, Shel Chayalei Tva Ha'agana L'Israel, Aruch V'Nachon L'Sgiratcha. Adonit. Mario Sigurdsson. 
מר יעבור לנוח, מות נוח. גבירותיי ורבותיי, דבר ראש הממשלה ושר החוץ בנימין נתניהו. Ladies and gentlemen, Prime Minister of the State of Israel and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, will deliver his welcome remarks. Please be seated. ברוך הבא לישראל, ראש ממשלת הודו, ידידי נרנדרה מודי. My friend Prime Minister נרנדרה מודי, Welcome to Israel. אבקה סוהגתה, מרדוס. Prime Minister, we've been waiting for you a long time. We've been waiting almost 70 years, in fact, because yours is truly a historic visit. It's the first time an Indian prime minister is visiting Israel. We receive you with open arms. We love India. We admire your culture. We admire your history, your democracy, your commitment to progress. We view you as kindred spirits in our common quest to provide a better future for our peoples and for our world. Prime Minister, when I first met you at the United Nations three years ago, we agreed to break down the remaining walls between India and Israel. We shook each other's hands and we agreed to forge a historic, historic partnership for Pargas. We then met again in Paris. And since then, we've spoken many times on the phone. But I remember, my friend, what you said in that first meeting. You said that when it comes to India-Israel's relations, the sky is the limit. But actually, my friend, the sky isn't the limit. Because today, even our space programs are working together to achieve even greater heights. The ties between our talented, innovative peoples is natural. It's so natural that we could ask, what took so long for them to blossom? Well, it took a meeting of minds and hearts. It took a, a commitment of our governments. We have that today. On this visit, you're making India initiative meets my make with India policy. We're setting up a $40 million innovation fund as the seed for even greater cooperation on technology between us. Our partnership extends to water, agriculture, security, energy, many, many other fields. I believe the formula for success is simple. It's I square, T square. That equals Indian talent times Israeli technology. It equals Israel, India's ties for tomorrow. I square, T square. Now, I'm confident, this is the degree of mathematics I remember from my student days, but I'm confident of the, the real mathematics of life. I'm confident of the success of our partnership for many reasons. First is the talent of our peoples. It's been said, Prime Minister, that in Silicon Valley in California, the two most common languages overheard are Hindi and Hebrew. Occasionally, one hears some native English too. Second, I believe in the success of our partnership 
because of the great sympathy between our peoples, the natural camaraderie between Indians and Israelis, the Jews of India, and the 100,000 Israelis of Indian descent are a wonderful human bridge between our two nations, our two peoples. Third, I'm confident of our success because of leadership. Prime Minister Modi, you're a great leader of India and a great world leader. Your visit to Israel is a testament to that. Our two peoples have deeply held values rooted in ancient cultures, yet we both seek to realize the promise of a better future. I know, and this visit marks that very clearly, I know that we can do even more, even better, together. Welcome to Israel, my friend, Prime Minister Modi. Shukran. Thank you. גבירותיי ורבותיי, יש לנו הכבוד לשמוע את דבר אורחנו המכובד, ראש ממשלת הודו, הוד מעלתו, נרנדרה מודי. Ladies and gentlemen, the honorable Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of the Republic of India. Excellency, Prime Minister Nathan Yahoo, Ladies and gentlemen, Shalom, Leklam, Anisemya Mayot, Lehiat Po. It is my singular honor to be the first ever Prime Minister of India to undertake this groundbreaking visit to Israel. I want to thank my friend, Prime Minister Nathan Yahu, for the invitation and for receiving me with so much warmth. My visit celebrates the strength of centuries-old links between our societies. Based on these bonds of our partnership, has maintained a strong and sustained upswing since the establishment of full relationship, diplomatic relations 25 years ago. Friends, the people of Israel have built a nation on democratic principles. They have nurtured it with hard work greed and the spirit of innovation. You have marched on regardless of adversity and converted challenges into opportunity. India applauds your achievements. Today is July 4. Exactly 41 years since Operation Entebbe, the day when your Prime Minister and my friend Bibi lost his elder brother Yoni while saving the lives of so many Israel hostages. Your heroes are an inspiration for the younger generations. Friends, India is a very old civilization, but a young nation. 800 million people in India are below 35 years of age group. The talented and skilled youth of India are also its driving force. They propel my vision to transform India, its industry, its economy, its way of doing business, and its interface with the world. Friends, in our 
path of sustained high growth and all round development india counts israel amongst its important partners the need to rely on science technology innovation and higher technical education to over to overcome our developmental challenges to common to both of us the domains also bring together the creative energy and ideas of the highly skilled youth and entrepreneurs of the two countries alongside building a partnership for shared economic prosperity we are also cooperating to secure our societies against common threats such as terrorism a progressive partnership in all these areas would shape the scope of my conversation with prime minister my friend nathan yahoo i'm also keen to interact with the indian diaspora in israel including a large number of jews of indian origin who have enriched both our societies excellency and friends my visit marks a path breaking journey of engagement a journey that we are excited to undertake together for the good of our people and societies as we march together a strong and resilient partnership with israel will be my intent and focus i thank you once again for this tremendous welcome thank you thank you very much Regional cooperation, Minister of Transportation and uh, Intelligence too. Minister of Communication. Thank you. Welcome, sir. <laughs> We like you so much. He's speaking about you all the time. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Minister of Agriculture. Oh, wow. Very yes. important for us. I won't make business. We are both Moto and Israel. Minister of Social Equality. Take care of women, young people, everybody, old people. Israel, and I'm proud that my chief of staff is from the The dean of the diplomatic corps. Welcome, Ambassador. It's good to see you. Thank you. Head of our navy. We had a very good visit of your Admiral Lamba. Head of our northern district and the police. Minister of the Welcome, Prime Minister. I just okay. came from India. Uh, visit last you December. Were there. Yeah, last oh. December we signed an MOU. Yeah. And this evening we're supposed to be as the Prime Minister. So the space agreement. So happy to welcome Israel. Welcome. Deputy Minister and our former Ambassador in the United States. So welcome. Thank India you. and Israel are the cradles of great civilizations, world civilizations, so natural future. And of, a, Thank of you. the future. And of the future. Thank you very much for having me. Minister of Religion. That's 
Brexit. The representative of the uh, Greek Orthodox, uh, the representative of the uh, the Franciscan uh, representative, the representative of the Jew. Representative of the Ahmadi, Muhammad Sharif, the head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Oh, we want to thank you. Yes, <laughs> we want to thank you. You help our community in India. Thank you very much. You are very close to everybody. Yes, we know that you help. Thank you. I make history in India. Great. Thank you very much. Representative of the Baha'i body. Secretary General of the Baha'i Community. Yeah. Welcome. We'll be in Haifa. We'll see yeah, them. I understand. And Haifa together. This is the holy city where they are peace. They are God. Baha'i Community in India as well. Thank you. Cabinet Secretary. Welcome. Director General of the Prime Minister's Office. I'm McKinsey, but it's okay. Ellie Groner. Look forward to doing great things together. Thank you. National Security Advisor. Welcome to Israel and I'm welcome also Mr. Duval as well. Hello. Oh. We are in touch with him. Of course. <laughs> Director General of the Foreign Ministry. I am the Foreign Minister too. <laughs> <laughs> Chief of Staff, my office. Welcome, it's a dream come true. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So, <laughs> Our ambassador in India. Yes, very familiar with that. I'm a former ambassador to India. I'm yeah, very very I'm the welcome of the department. Welcome of the department. I did the one. My It's good to see you again. I'm glad that this day came to fruition, and you have something to do with it. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Warren Secretary. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Good to see you, sir. 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 Foreign policy. Internet. Oh, a new one. 23, 24, you know. <laughs> And English communication. Ah, 